For planting garlic, I use newspapers. Thanks to this, I have better yields. When it's time to plant garlic, I take newspapers with me to the field. I chop the garlic and put it into a container with brine. I make the brine for soaking garlic by dissolving a tablespoon of salt in water. One tablespoon per liter of water is enough. The salt will protect the garlic from fungal diseases, but salt also protects the bulbs from onion fly larvae. Garlic untreated with salt can become a breeding ground for these flies. As a result, garlic bulbs rot. Soak the garlic in salt water for at least 15 minutes, then simply dry it and plant it. Traditionally, garlic is planted every six to 10 centimeters. Rows should be spaced between 25 and 30 centimeters apart. However, you can further protect such planted garlic by using newspapers. Planting garlic through newspapers is a simple trick. However, laying out newspapers on a windy day is not an easy task, so it's best to moisten the newspapers. Use water for this. Spray the newspapers or pour water on them. You can also soak them in a bucket of water before laying them out in the field. Newspapers are ideal for mulching. Garlic planted through newspapers is additionally protected from weeds. They don't grow as fast then. This way, you'll have better yields. Welcome on my channel. Today I will show you the best way to sow small seeds. Anyone who has ever sown carrots knows that it is not an easy task. The small seeds grow too close together and require thinning. The trick for sowing carrots with starch is brilliant. It greatly simplifies the start of cultivation. To prepare the starch, we only need one ingredient, potato starch. It is natural and safe to use in the garden. As you can see on the video, I add two tablespoons of potato starch to a cup of cold water and vigorously mix it. No lumps should form. Then I pour the mixture into boiling water. Remember to keep stirring. When the water starts to evaporate, a jelly will form. Look at the spoon. The starch should coat it. Then I know that the mixture is ready. Then I cool the jelly and add my favorite carrot seeds to it. We need to mix everything thoroughly so that the seeds are evenly distributed in the pot. The starch will dissolve the waxy coating on the seeds. This will make them germinate faster in the soil. Additionally, it will provide appropriate watering of the carrot in the soil. I pour the mixture into a measure and go to the garden. Earlier, I prepared the beds. Good soil preparation is essential. Fork it thoroughly to break up lumps and remove as many stones as possible. Carrots thrive in light, well-drained but moisture-retentive soil, so it's also worth adding some well-rotted organic matter. Then I slowly pour the starch into the ground. You can see in the recording that the seeds distribute themselves at the right intervals. Remember that the soil under the carrot must be weeded and loosened. Do not fertilize the soil beforehand because it may attract pests. We can also use a regular bottle to sow carrots with starch. It will be more precise. This way, we can also sow dill, radish, and other small seeds. We sow carrots from March to the end of May. Carrots don't require too much care. Aim to keep the soil around them weed-free, although once the carrots start to grow strongly, their foliage will shade out most weeds. Water occasionally. What do you think of this sowing method? Will you try it in your garden? If you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. See you in the next video. Seeds germinate in just two days. It's the fastest germination without soil. You don't have to wait 10 days for the first sprouts to appear. Just 48 hours and two kitchen products. Today, I'll use cucumber seeds, but you can use any seeds. I'll prepare the seeds properly. It will protect them from diseases. I'll use products that I have in the kitchen. Do the same as me, and you'll be surprised by the results. Pour 250 milliliters of warm water into a container. The water shouldn't be hot. Lukewarm is enough. Add half a teaspoon of granulated garlic to it. Stir until the garlic dissolves. Pour the seeds onto a sieve. Pour the garlic water over them. The seeds on the sieve must be submerged in water. Garlic disinfects and protects the seeds from diseases. It's bactericidal. After a few hours, rinse the seeds with lukewarm water. Place them on a paper towel. Brew chamomile. It can be regular chamomile tea. When it cools down, spray the seeds with it. Chamomile infusion prevents the growth of harmful microorganisms. Thanks to it, the seeds don't rot. 
they germinate better and healthier. Transfer the seeds to a drawstring bag. Close the bag. If you notice that the seeds are dry, spray them with chamomile again. Within 24 hours, and certainly within 48, the seeds will start to germinate. It's the best way to quickly germinate seeds. Since I've been having back problems, I've been using a broom for planting. Also, prepare some empty bottles. You'll see that planting has never been easier. Let me show you a great trick. Cut off the bottom of the bottle. Then, make four incisions on the remaining part, but not all the way to the cap. Cut out two sections from the four walls created by the incisions. This will create a peculiar funnel shape with two longer sides. Repeat this process with the other bottles. Cut off the bottoms of each bottle and make similar incisions as with the first bottle. You'll find that the longer these two sections are, the better. Get a broom or a brush ready. It can be an old one or something you don't use. The longer the brush, the better. I happen to have one like that. It's important that it has a pole attachment. Get rid of those synthetic fibers, remove them all, or at least the outer ones. Place the first bottle edge onto the brush. Ensure that the longer sides wrap around the brush and the bottle's edge is beneath it. Attach the bottle to the brush using hot glue. If you're using a wooden broom or brush, a staple gun will suffice. Attach the subsequent bottles in the same manner. Since this brush isn't too long, four bottles were enough. And there you have it. Attach the pole and head to the field. Take the bulbs you're planting. Mark the holes with your bottle brush. The soil should be well loosened. You don't have to bend over to mark the planting spots. Place the bulbs in the holes and cover them with soil. And that's it. You can make such a marker yourself in a few minutes. And it will be just what you need. Brilliant, isn't it? Never plant garlic without this. Watch this video before planting your garlic. This will ensure large and healthy bulbs. Garlic doesn't have many pests, but one of them can significantly reduce yields. It's the onion fly, also known as the onion maggot. It emerges from the soil in early spring and lays eggs in immature onion and garlic shoots. Garlic cultivation is also affected by fungal diseases. That's why it's best to protect garlic from the moment of planting. First, prepare the soil. If you have wood ash, sprinkle it in the field where you want to plant garlic. It will provide essential nutrients and protect against pests. Take the garlic and separate the bulbs. Prepare all the cloves you have for planting. Discard damaged and small ones. Pour water into a second container. One liter is enough for this amount of cloves. Add a tablespoon of salt. Stir until the salt dissolves. Place the garlic cloves in this brine and soak them for at least 15 minutes. If possible, leave them for up to an hour. Then remove them and let them dry. Make holes in the soil with the end of a rake and place the garlic cloves in them. You can also plant garlic directly into the ground without preparing holes. Cover the garlic and you're done. This treated garlic will be protected from diseases and pests. You can also sow carrots between the garlic. These vegetables protect each other from pests.